All right, guys, I got a real short one for you today. The only thing I've managed to accomplish in the last two days is take one head, put bronze wall guides in them, even though the, the stock guides were really good. I just can't help myself. I got to put bronze in. And I did uh, a quite an aggressive 50 degree seat. And I also did a plunge cut on the chamber. Okay, you can see where the old head gasket was. I'm inside where the old head gasket. Actually, it comes out almost exactly to the edge of the chamber where it should be. And I, I measured it. It's it's the uh, it's the same as the E7s that I did for DV. I actually gave him a call tonight, and I told him what I, my plan was. And he, uh, in his his own way, of course, he's like. I don't think that's the right approach, Charlie. I'm like, well, I'll find out. It's a 1.85 valve, and if it's terrible, I know I can put a 194 in there with a 45 degree seat. So, we will take a look. Uh, another thing I did was, I think I'm going to flow one just like this, right? Completely bone stock port with a nasty valve job and a chamber cut. And I did one without a chamber cut. We're gonna see how much flow the difference is that that big, that big, I mean, you can see, I pull, I pull out, come on, focus on me, there we go. I take a nice chunk of metal out of that, right? Take a look and compare it to this one. As a big difference in the amount of chamber. Now, DV said on his Vortec video, don't take anything out of this corner. Well, we'll find out if that works or if it doesn't work. Okay. All three of these turned out really, really well with that uh, chamber cut. And my installed height is really close. So when I do the final valve job, it should be, it should be a piece of cake. All right, guys. That's all I got for you tonight. Hopefully I get some time tomorrow to do the exhausts. And I can do a little flow action for you guys. Thanks a lot. Good night.